the Washington State Department of Social and Health Services, Developmental Disabilities Administration, Home and Community-Based Services, Children's Intensive In-Home Behavior Support, or SIVS Waiver. The Washington State Department of Social and Health Services, Developmental Disabilities Administration, or DDA for short, oversees programs and services that support people with intellectual and developmental disabilities in just about every area of life and at every stage of life. Most of DDA's services are part of Medicaid programs called Home and Community-Based Services Waivers, or Waivers for short. They're called waivers because the program waives the rules that people receive services in an institutional setting so the person can receive similar services in their home and community. There are five DDA waiver programs, Individual and Family Services, or IFS, Basic Plus, Core, Children's Intensive In-Home Behavior Support, or SIVS, and Community Protection. Here's Ann from DDA to talk about Children's Intensive In-Home Behavior Support, or SIBS Waiver. The SIBS Waiver is for children and youth ages 8 through 20 living in the family home who are at risk of out-of-home placement due to the intensity of their challenging behaviors. Services are based on positive approaches to care and team planning that builds on strengths and works towards outcomes driven by the family. Each child's team includes family, friends, providers, school staff, and others to ensure that the child's support plan is applied consistently across all environments. Services on the SIBS waiver are designed to wrap around the supports the child is receiving from their physical and behavioral health plan and their school district. Services include assistive technology, which can be an assessment or evaluation, high or low tech goods, training, and equipment maintenance to help a person obtain and use technology that supports their independence. Music and equine therapies, which can be provided alongside applied behavior analysis, or other behavioral health supports to complement and enhance their benefits and outcomes. Respite care, which provides in-home, overnight, or community-based personal care and supervision to give a person's primary caregiver a break from caregiving. Environmental adaptations, which provides modifications to a home to help a person physically enter or move around their home, and damage repairs related to challenging behaviors that are being treated by a behavioral health professional. Specialized clothing, which is non-restrictive clothing that is adapted to support sensory needs. Specialized habilitation, which helps people learn or maintain a range of life skills to enhance their well-being. Therapeutic adaptations, which are adaptations to an existing room in a person's house to convert the space into a sensory room for sensory safe lighting, tactile friendly surfaces, and noise reduction or enhancement. These are just some of the supports and professional services covered by the SIBS waiver. There's quite a bit more, so be sure to talk to your DDA case manager about your options. To be eligible, a person must be a client of DDA, meet functional eligibility criteria for the SIBS waiver, which is done during the DDA annual person-centered service planning meeting, and meet financial eligibility criteria based on their own individual income and resources. Since all SIBS applicants are children, the parent's income and resources are not considered. Waiver enrollment is not an entitlement. This means that a person can be eligible 
and still be denied services if there's not enough funding to enroll them. Even though enrollment for waivers is limited, it's important to ask for what you need so that DDA and lawmakers know the true need in our community and can plan for future budgets. And when openings occur, you're already in the system and can reapply. If you are enrolled in a waiver, you can also access Community First Choice or CFC, which provides personal care and other services that increase independence with activities of daily living. Many clients receive CFC in addition to waiver services. To learn more about your options, contact your nearest DDA office or fill out an online information and request form at dshs.wa.gov/dda.